Welcome to Keep, Keep Snacking. <laughs> hey, Simone. Oh, I'm Lauren Jones. <laughs> I'm Simona Roy. And uh, today we are, I'm, I know I'm, if you can't see me, I'm, I'm surrounded by licorice. Today is the yes. licorice theme show, which we're super stoked about. And half of my body on and off is going to look like licorice if you're watching me on YouTube. And I don't care. Just <laughs> stare at Simona if it bothers you. <laughs> she likes licorice so much that she's turning into licorice. Uh, so. Yeah. I'm slowly but surely like amoebic <laughs> to licorice. And I am not traditionally a licorice fan. Um, I've always wanted to like it. Uh, there are lots of foods. I mean, there's not a lot of foods. Like I, I can make myself like something, but I traditionally have not liked licorice and I found some fake licorice that I finally really like. Um, but I'm a little, I'm a little nervous about this episode because I really don't like the anise flavor of licorice. And I think it's funny because normally I think I'm the one, and again, neither of us are picky eaters. I wouldn't right. say that. Like we will both try things. But I think that out of the two of us, I'm probably the one that's typically more nervous and that I don't want to, I don't want to like offend people by like a nasty face or something like that. Right. Or really... I, I mean, honestly, yeah, like that's, I hate. It's uh, more that nerve, right? It's yeah. not like, oh, I can't put this in my mouth. Like whatever, you can try it. But well, like you don't when I was disappoint. a kid, when I was a kid and like I'd bring in like lunches, like this is when I was in elementary school and it was like Indian food or something. Like some kids would be like, oh, that looks so gross. And it's, it's so hurtful. So like, I don't ever want to hate on a food that somebody really loves that's because like if it's big, tied to their heritage that's like or something. my big fat Greek wedding. Remember when she wanted to be like a Wonder Bread girl? Oh, do you remember that part? Yeah, and she because she'd bring like you know baklava or yeah, something. Yeah, musaka. And, yeah, or musaka. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. And they were like musaka, muskaka. <laughs> the kids said that in the movie. And then she had one point so with hurtful. Wonder Bread. It's so mean. It's, it's so mean. Kids, kids are it's assholes. Probably delicious. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so um, I, I feel sensitive sometimes to that but it's not like licorice is a part of somebody's like cultural cuisine so if i don't like well, licorice flavor it is if you're dutch and we will get into some of the history of licorice but what i will say is i grew up with a family that eats licorice it's not my first candy to grab like it's yeah. not like if there was more than one option to grab i would i would grab something different however i don't hate it um, and I, um, yeah, so I grew up eating it and a family that's very fond of it so much so that they are super stoked about the ones that I asked Simona to try because it's like <laughs> their favorite delicatessen version. But before we go deep diving into licorice, how was your week? Anything that you want to talk about? I was uh, going to keep it to close <laughs> for me so that we don't get too political because this is the week well, I just that we were all say, staring at the computer and the phones and the TV. Right. On the I mean, counter. we don't have to get too political, but I'm, I'm happy. It's going to be a long fight still, but it's good so far. Okay, good. Yes. And I'm getting ready to do, this is Bonnie. Ah, ah, ah. Next week, I'm getting ready to get my ass kicked by her new program. And Bonnie is your trainer. Bonnie Just is my trainer. Who don't know yeah. That. Body Rock Baby. Yeah. You guys should know by now. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. But uh, it's, yeah, it's a jumpstart program that she's doing for eight weeks where I'm basically working out now almost every day, which is going to be, it's going to be a lot. But I'm excited about it, especially because we're eating so many snacks. <laughs> yeah. It's It'll good. be good. You'll feel good. You'll feel accomplished. Uh, that's exciting. Thanks. And yeah, so for good. my fashions today, <laughs> Lauren, uh, for all the listeners who can't, you know, see us, um, and Lauren is wearing a hoodie. Oh, yeah, that I'm had wearing a, a Namaste hoodie with an awesome leopard, leopard strip on it. Um, so I am wearing, I'm going to stand up for our viewers. Oh, my God. It is a I Mariah Carey. I'm prepared to fly. <laughs> It's a Mariah Carey um, 
t-shirt that Lauren sent me lovingly because she knows I'm such a huge Mariah Carey fan. And it's specifically uh, Mariah Carey from the Butterfly album, I believe. Which is so random because it came out 100 million years ago. Yeah. So just representing some retro moment of gypsy whatever for Mariah. Because Simona is my favorite retro <laughs> moment of gypsy whatever. I just, you know, that is so me. Simona <laughs> is my moment. And also, Mariah loves the word moment, moment. so, and festive, so, anyway. But I mean, Simona is my moment, and if <laughs> I see anything that reminds me of her, Simona is, <laughs> is a sister to me, and if I see something that a sister needs, I will get that for her. Thank you, and it's good I'm wearing a t-shirt, because I am sweating today. <laughs> wow. It's, also, it's 70 degrees in New Jersey right now, is because it? global I warming. Like my God. I feel like it might be 70 degrees here, too, because I wore a hoodie when I ran out this morning. And yeah, it's 72 degrees. And I like love wearing a hoodie because there's pockets in it. But then I was like, <laughs> yeah, I love it. came home. Well, yeah. I mean, let's hopefully get this environmental situation under control. Right. Yeah, that's another problem we have. Exactly. Yeah. All so right. Stinking problems. All right. We're <laughs> going to go into licorice. Yes. Do you say licorice or licorice? Wait, what did, how did you say the first one? It sounded exactly the same to me. Licorice or licorice? <laughs> Some people say the licorice. Some people say licorice, where they kind of oh, take like say they say the licorice. O out. No, no, licorice. no. I say licorice, like three you say syllables. Licorice. I yeah, say, I don't make it two syllables. Licorice. So I no. think I grew up saying licorice. Oh, but I also grew up upstate New York. I know. Oh. <laughs> upstate um, New York has some really weird accents, and I can say that because I was there from. But we lived on the born. Jersey side of New York. So a lot of times yeah. people would people would say we sounded very Jersey. Um, but it's licorice, guys. There is three syllables. Yes. Licorice. <laughs> licorice. 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 All right. So this this food date, dates back thousands, like thousands of years. They have found evidence of this food in ancient Egyptian, Chinese, Greek, Roman, and Hindu civilizations. Mm. And many prominent historical figures are said to have utilized licorice for medicinal properties, including King Tut, Alexander the Great, Julius Caesar, and Napoleon Bonaparte, who consumed it so often, this is Napoleon, um, it is said that his teeth turned black from the juice. Ugh, Napoleon had so many problems. Hot. <laughs> he was hot short. Mess. And express. he had black teeth. <laughs> And he was insane. Yeah. I mean, maybe the licorice made him insane. <laughs> I mean, too much licorice is not a good thing. No, I don't think it is. All right. I'm probably going to butcher the way you say some of this stuff because I don't claim to like, not that I don't know how to read, but I probably, I do mispronounce things sometimes. So it's whatever. You do. And it's funny. It's a moment of whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> the first thing to know about licorice candy is originally named from the licorice plant, a herb shrub that has a lot of basically this this set, the whole thing says it just has a lot of medicinal properties they keep not telling me what all these medicinal properties are but so it's, uh, well i i read that it's anti-inflammatory yeah. um antioxidant and i think antioxidant was the biggest one that i didn't like when i'm reading so i really liked this history of licorice thing but like i got annoyed every time i kept saying like medicinal properties i'm like what the heck are they <laughs> right you know did you read did you see that it um is sometimes used as an aphrodisiac did that come up for you um yeah not on this site but on a different site yeah, yeah it's mm. very o oystery mm. <laughs> which is gross I, it's like let's let's i mean oysters are good too but like it doesn't make me feel like sexy neither no. does licorice but the fact that they're aphrodisiac like oh, I feel like licorice would make me feel sexier than an oyster. True that. I mean, yeah, look at this red like, sexy licorice behind me. You could like yeah. you know, pull it and be like, ah. Uh, Looks like a strap or something. <laughs> yeah. Put licorice. Like licorice. You could, you could make an outfit out of licorice. You, you can't totally, make an outfit out of oysters. Think, That's gross. I Maybe Gaga could, but. I think somebody did make an outfit out of licorice the season that. Christian Siriano was on Project Runway. So uh -huh. that was like season four, I think, or five. Now that I'm, I like see it in my head. Someone did, I think they went to the Hershey store or something. So yeah, and someone, you can, yeah, so you uh, can make, make licorice sexy. Make licorice lingerie. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Um, let's see. The most common licorice impersonator in food and confectionery is anise, which we know Simona is not a fan of. 
Right. Um, the herb that makes Greek liqueur tastes like licorice. So they like, oh, use that, um, what is it called? I always want to say it's yuzu, but that's the yes. Asian. Yes, it is. Okay. So, but I always confuse that when I watch chef shows because they, his yuzu spelled. You literally y- like basically read the next sentence. Yeah. Oh, like Y-U-Z-U is an Asian citrus fruit, which is a cross between like a lemon and a lime, but the, not to be confused with the Greek alcohol, which is also pronounced yuzu. Oh, yuzu. Oh, yuzu. It's- it's O U Z O. Right. Yeah, spelled yeah. differently, but sometimes sounds the same. Yes. Um, today, the term licorice is also used as a blanket term for a specific set of candy shapes mm-hmm. that don't actually contain the herb. So you will sometimes see like something that looks like a licorice. And today we are going to talk about red vines versus Twizzlers. Look out. Um, <laughs> Age old debate. Yes. Answered. But, but since then, like Starburst makes something. There's other, you know, sweet oh, turds. Sure. Yeah. Like the about. roping. And look. they will like, con- they will use the term that it's licorice in that the shape of the candy, which is what this is saying, but how, but it's really. Um, so you're saying that those have. Well, they um, don't have the anise in it, but. Right. They are, it's now the term licorice is considered more of a candy shape oh, okay. term instead of what it was. Yeah. Um, but okay. I think everything we are eating candy wise actually has licorice has in anise. it. Has anise. I believe. Yes. yes. Yours, even my yours, fake one even has your fake one has a yes. has a level of it exactly. Yes. Um and then just uh we'll I'm going to say just a couple more things and then we're going to go in um on yours so if you want to prep your bag and get ready. Um licorice first gained its popularity for its medicinal pr- uh properties. The root was chewed not only to help people stay hydrated, which is um, one of my favorite things in life, but also contains essential (laughs) juices. And this is some of the stuff we were talking about before. It helps alleviate mild inflammation, chest congestion, congestion and allergies. The soldiers of Alexander the Great were ordered to chew the root to help themselves stay healthy and hydrated during the medieval era. Um, And you would see this in like apothecaries and things like that too. Like they would have licorice um yeah that's what i've always like when i think about licorice as a medicinal use i always subconsciously like think that is pictured in like apothecary with a you know uh especially black licorice exactly yeah um modern medical studies have confirmed that licorice uh, can soothe the stomach and cleanse the respiratory system so that's like kind of more of where it it goes there's a lot on licorice i the other biggest thing that i will say that i um wanted to fill everybody in on is that before it was really chewed or turned into something that was confectionery, it actually was a drink. Hmm. So um, we're familiar with the candy licorice favor, um, but it wasn't until the 13th century that licorice started appearing as a confectionery. Prior to that, it was most commonly brewed into a beer, which was consumed both recreationally and for medical purposes. As the medieval era gave way, the Renaissance licorice saw increased use in cakes and other sweets. So it was like during the Renaissance that you saw (laughs) people being more creative, which So the Renaissance was also a rebirth for licorice. It was. Mm -hmm. It turned it into what we know licorice to be today. Well, Um, and absinthe is a licorice flavor. So um, not that I've ever tried it because- And there's a lot of liqueurs out there that have a licorice- Un, and then anise a uh, uh, undertone to sure. it. Yeah. Uh, it will make you, you know, that kind of a face. <laughs> yeah. One of those guys. Yeah. It's like, I feel like there's got to be some licorice bitters that some mixologist in Brooklyn is working with, you know? Hells yeah. Who oh cares? yeah. And his Not like cute that. little, and their cute little like, you know, Aprons. craftsman looking aprons. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And with like a handlebar mustache. Dark rings glasses. <laughs> Handle our mustache girl <laughs> with like tattoo on her neck if she's one. Yeah, like they they are the quintessential. I mean, I love the type. There is totally a type. So I did buy this kind, and you'll see it better when uh, Simona holds it up because so sent it to me. This is from my bag. It says King Sweets, but for all intents and purposes, this is an English licorice, yes. right? And they look like Made in the UK. Yeah, they look like English tea cookies, kind of. 
They look they're like very... rainbow cookies too. Like, yeah. you know, the uh, rainbow cookies that have like an almond flavor that you can find during the holidays. For sure. Normally, I don't, we don't eat the same thing this, at this point <laughs> in the show. I'm already like not, I just. <laughs> but I wanted to eat bag. one with her. Yeah. Tell us your nose. This is your part of the show. So you go into it, but I'm going to eat one with you. Well, the nose, I had to say, like, I'm not getting a strong licorice flavor, but it's just like, you know what? It, it's, it's a strong molasses hit that you get and i don't love molasses either oh really really that's a baker that's a little shocking to me i mean i think molasses i would use it for like a gingerbread or something like that because you have to but for you know flavor, and i will say licorice makes me it. think of the holidays a little bit too i don't know if we had it in the house more because it's festive but it smells like <laughs> molasses and like old raisins and <laughs> like wicked, like a strong. old like stodgy fruit cake. That's what it smells like. But they're so cute. So as she's as Simona's going in, um, I like these are like light pink and light blues and have little sprinkles on them and like bright yellows and they look like little And cakes. they're small. Like they look like larger like size dinner mints. I guess. Um, yeah, they actually do look like blown up dinner mints. About yeah. the size of a quarter. About the thickness of three quarters. So the one that I'm holding is like a sandwich looking thing. It's got pink on top, black in the middle and white on the bottom. And it's a perfect square. And I would say it's like a half an inch cube. I mean, really, I'm not great at describing and I'm going to go in on a sprinkle one while you eat that. But you describe it. I already know I'm what's going to taste like. I'm so nervous. I cannot tell you. It's, I might as well be eating those cod sacks right now. That's how nervous oh I am. Oh my God. It's not that bad. God, sex. Ew. Oh, this isn't bad. Old you. So, it seems to me that the middle is more the licorice flavor, the black part. The pink and the white seem just kind of like, um, I mean, I wouldn't say marzipan, but like a marzipan texture. But it's basically like a... A sugar paste on top and so you're only getting the licorice flavor for this particular piece in the middle and it's not strong and because it's like encapsulated on both sides by like fondant essentially um it's not bad but it, it almost tastes like not what i expected licorice it doesn't have a strong licorice taste it's almost like the middle of a, a fig newton it has like a figgy flavor yeah, because these are candied, right? So you have to remember, these are more delicatessen version, but this is what traditionally you would eat like licorice as. It wouldn't have been just like a Twizzler. It's like a fancy licorice. I would like you to go in on one of the sprinkle ones, if you don't mind. The sprinkle I'll ones for the show. Hell yeah. No, but also this isn't really, this is actually quite pleasant. See, it's just a different, it's like a different uh, candied flavor. You're not going in heavy with the sweet. You're going in heavy more with... Um, bananas taste and then something confectionary is this so, okay this blue one yes it's perfect so squeeze it a little bit so you can see oh, yeah this is a different texture this it, blue it's, one. A, it's like a chewy and the color is yellow inside it's not like a black licorice so right. what they do is they flavor they mix they make the jelly where they mix it with licorice but they also mix it with like a confectionary taste. oh These and this are, is much more licorice flavor but than the it's other one. good but finish the taste of it because you also have the sweet from the sprinkles so just i want you to tell me your thoughts because to me this was like my favorite one as a kid i like the texture of the jelly and i like that it has like the sprinkles on the outside like texture wise this is fine but it has so much more of a stronger what i know to be licorice and i think that licorice isn't really bad it it does taste very medicinal to me it tastes mm -hmm. like like something like and we as you said to us it's used for like stomach issues like licorice and this candy in particular seems like something like if you have an upset stomach that this is what you like would a eat ricola. well that's for a cough but, but ricola <laughs> has like kind of an anise taste to it i actually really i feel like ricolas are really minty i can't i don't, I don't think they're minty at all really and i you have them all the time yeah i think that well, we'll have to disagree. We'll have to do a cough. We'll have to do a cough drop episode. Maybe, yes, and then we'll get have a real taste test on a recall. 
Um, well, these were my favorite, like, as a they're kid. They're not if- bad, but I find them to be more medicinal, bottom line, than the other okay. ones. I like the other ones better. So it's not that bad, right? No. It and this is, I more- could see this, like, being a breath freshener, too. <laughs> she just flared her nostrils for the record. All right, I'm going to go in with some fake licorice. Um, oh, this is mine, right? Yes. So this is called Daryl Lee. So the way this episode even came about, we obviously, Simone and I are friends, which we've established. What? What? Um, and so we um, will talk about our foods. Like we kind of tried to separate the food stuff a little bit here and there, but there are times when I get phone calls or messages that are like, I'm nervous to talk to you about something. And I'm like, and I just, I don't know what it's going to be. And then she goes, I want to do an episode on this because I found X, Y, Z. And I'm like, why would I? <laughs> don't I, I feel so like nervous. I'm nervous. I, yes. I need to stop being nervous, but I also know that I'm down to try things that maybe Lauren, I have to convince Lauren I haven't Lauren been about. super objective. There was one day I was having a bad day and guess what? We yeah, still I know. are doing. I need to like text her and be like, are you in a good mood or a bad mood? <laughs> Because if you're in a bad mood, I'm not going to talk to you about snacks. Because <laughs> I'm just going to be like, no. Right. But no, I'm never like, no. And honestly, the the one you were most nervous about, we're planning on filming in December. So yeah, it's there's nothing I'm going to say no to. But she said, I really, I, I don't like licorice, but I but I want to do a licorice episode. And I'm like, um, all right, <laughs> cool. And I'm like, I don't mind licorice. So I don't care. So then she's explaining to me that she does this. She says, I found this Australian licorice, and I'm like, okay, this sounds totally fake to me. Um, but I, because we were reading the back of the, I, I didn't go into, I sounded very much like I was from Wisconsin, the back of the box. Um, <laughs> that was crazy. Um, I'll just read the back of this really fast. But, you know, for all intents and purposes, I think this is going to be a lot sweeter than a normal licorice. And, yeah, um, and it hardly has like any anise flavor, but it does contain licorice. So, yeah. So, while it, so I'm trying. So read it. the read the back yeah. of it, and then I'll I'll tell people how I feel about licorice. Okay. Know. So, what happened on that dark and stormy night back in 1957 when Daryl Lee invented the world's finest soft eating licorice recipe? Was it a moment of genius or a happy so. accident? Both. <laughs> One thing is certain. <laughs> Once you experience Daryl's unique soft eating texture, you'll understand Who said why that licorice it's... wasn't sexy. <laughs> yeah, you'll understand why it's number one selling eating licorice brand in Australia and around the world. So um, they really dropped Australia hard there, but apparently people are eating this around the world. I never heard of it. Just saying. Well, I've um, never heard of it until like two months ago. But um, there's no high fructose corn syrup in it, and it's plant based. So yeah, you know, I think it's bad. Is it vegan non-GMO. too? It's non-GMO. I don't see the vegan. You know, I hate the wheat symbol on here. Okay. Um, but that might be because it's Australian. Oh yeah, maybe. Well, no, and I hate the wheat is gluten free. Not oh, that's we're talking right. about vegan vegan um well it says plant-based really bad so i'm assuming it's vegan okay um but it's a non-gmo it has that certification on it well, okay i can't see it because of this background i um, i also bought more bags of that so i can show you the bag uh that i bought just for you, my own self yeah i'll tell you the nose and then whoa it smells like a fruit roll-up yeah legit I like it it that's smells like it. it smells like old school um, it feels weird. <laughs> this feels weird. It feels hard, right? It feels hard and sticky. And it, it looks like a little looks, sausage piece. It looks like, like a, a horse pill. <laughs> or it looks like, oh, I'm not going to say what it looks like. <laughs> no, I think I just, yeah, I think I know what you were going to say. It looks <laughs> like, it looks like a piece that was cut off of a monster Slim Jim. If yes. We're gonna, uh, An it's inch about piece. That, it's about that like girth um yes the size of a monster slim gym diameter yeah and it um but it feels it almost feels like a like a 
weird like toy or something like it doesn't feel real yeah like because it's, it's not as it's harder it's than you expect it to be it's dense and then yeah. it's sticky so you're like was a kid playing with this and they had sticky hands that's what <laughs> it doesn't feel like it's food it's i mean i feel like i could build a castle with these you probably could but little I, blocks I, I mean it's it's dara lee's special recipe that was I'm genius Oh, I usually just put the whole thing in my mouth, but she you took know, a bite out of it. I'm a two biter. I mean, yeah. you've established I'm more of a two biter. Right. She's a two biter. So you want to chew. I my other licorice. Like I said earlier, I've always wanted to like licorice, but I never liked it. Like when I tried Twizzlers when I was younger, I didn't like it. But I was, I used to watch Wayne's World a lot when I was younger. And in um, Garth's car, which I believe was called the Mirthmobile, they had licorice at the top of it and he would pull it out and eat it like while he was driving. And I'm like, oh, that looks so good. Like, I wish I liked licorice. So with the Daryl Lee, I finally found after, I don't know, 20 years, I haven't been searching for 20 years for my favorite licorice. I just didn't think I would ever like one. But I like Daryl Lee's, the strawberry one, the best. Because it doesn't have the swirl ridges like a, a a Twizzler or like a Red Vine because Garth's licorice also was smooth. Um, so I like that. And um, it also doesn't taste like licorice. And what's really strange is when I first found it in my gourmet grocery store, it was a variety pack and it came with, came with mango and green apple flavor. The mango is so disgusting that I picked out all of the mango from the bag and threw it out, which is like a really big deal. Like I could have just not eaten it, but I didn't even want to be around it. So I That's threw it out. That's how I feel about the blue and green. Um, Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids, yeah. Yeah. Um, but what's interesting is compared to the green apple and mango, the strawberry is actually much tougher to eat. Like the other ones are much softer and the green apple was actually, um, pretty good. I could recommend that Darryl sounds even apple. faker as a licorice. Though. Yeah. Like I mean, it doesn't have a, cherry a licorice sounds- flavor, but it does have licorice in it. So it's in it. Okay. I'm ready to tell you about how I feel. First of all, it contains like every kind of traces of nut. So, like, if you're allergic to nuts, don't eat this. Um, I On the second bite, I finally got kind of a licorice taste. Uh-huh. Are you all right? Yeah, I just <laughs> dropped a lot of licorice. Oh, no. You always drop some. <laughs> Whenever <It's> a- you're, <laughs> you're too much stuff. The dropper. Um, I, I don't hate it. What I will say, like, I don't like the shape of it. I would perf and I don't like how thick it is. It just takes a lot to chew it, like a a lot, a lot. Like if I'm eating candy, you don't want to work for it. I don't want to work as hard as I just had to for it. Um, So (laughs) I think that Daryl Lee, you need to like go back to that stormy dark night, 1957, (laughs) and and come up to the date of you know a stormy dark night in 2020. And make and them a little what flatter. it looks like, too. Um, oh, of course. I have a different packaging than you. No, that's the package that you had is how I found it. So that's oh, okay. fine. But this is like their new packaging in that's grocery cute. stores, which is that's like has – it's white. It's a white bag with strawberries Strawberry on it, faces. like pink and red. And it's just like – Mine's cute. is brown with stripes. Although I like this brown with stripes. So it looks yeah, because very it's like, like a candy store. Classic like candy store. Candy yeah. Store. I think it'd just be cooler and taste better if it was like as far as like the the eating of it goes. If they were flatter, um, I'm not saying that they have to mimic like a Twizzler shape or something, but they're I just don't, too thick. They're too yeah, they're kind of too thick. I and I think because mentally when you're eating licorice, you're used to like biting into it several times, especially if you're a licorice eater. Right. If you're a novice licorice eater like myself, I don't think it's going to bother you. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't love the shape of it or the, it's like two, it's almost like a super big version of, you know, <laughs> another, um, like a good and plenty actually, hmm. actually we were talking about that. It's like, it's just like blown up too big. It's just not, it's not like bite size where you want to stick the whole thing in your mouth. It's like only two chews, but it's very I feel like maybe when it's I have to chew too so much, I find like same thing with the chewy sweethearts. I mean, um, nerds from last. Yeah, you don't like chewing week. a lot. I don't like chewing a lot. Like I, I just no might as well be chewing it. gum. Like 
I have less of a problem with multiple chews. Um, but I, um, it's not multiple chews. It's like a lot of chewing. I couldn't even talk. Well, That's it's multiple it's chews. It's a lot. You I like, I, it's like two chews and you're done. It's not. No, guys. I you said saw multiple. I, I made a face when she said. No, I did not. Oh. Um, listen, I, I think also maybe this might be a cultural difference because um, I also, in my research for my licorice, I found this other company that seems to be pretty big. It's called Wiley Wallaby. Um, again, from, uh, I think that this is Australian or New Zealandy. I'm not sure, but like, so... It also is, it's, I'll say it's an honorable mention. It's not real, like it's not, again, it's this fake licorice thing. But in in theme with the size of Daryl Lee, like look at this. Oh, it's yeah. exactly it looks, like that. It's very thick, yeah. It's very thick. It's got the, it's the same size uh, length, same but size it girth, but it has the ridges, which I don't yeah. like. So I, you know, I can't recommend Wiley Wallaby just because I don't like it as much, but it's not bad. But now I have like a billion flavors. This is huckleberry, blueberry, pomegranate, green apple, watermelon. That's too many flavors. And then classic red. I mean, I will try yeah. them all at some point, but I don't think I'm going to like them. Yeah. All right. And then I'm gonna, we're going to go in with, um, we're both going to do almost like an audible in this episode together. Actually, I'm doing um, the Dutch licorice Gustav's coins. This actually came from um, a listener. Oh yeah. Hi everybody who's listening. Thank you for liking and listening. We love you still for real. Yeah. We always love you. We love you extra, extra. And you're giving us actual suggestions, but Otilia in, who is based out of Toronto, um, to the Dutchman. Family was from Holland. And these were something that they went cuckoo over, these coins. This is a firm licorice with a hint of salt. Um, that sounds terrible. Right. And it's black licorice. So I did not, I, as a good friend, I did not tell Simona, I didn't buy these for her <clears throat> and have her try them. Um, for the record, I would have tried it, but I know you would have, but I didn't want to, I just didn't think that that was appropriate because <laughs> I already knew she was like a little anti, you know, the licorice taste by the seven. This is just a little more, another fact, by the 17th century, the modern style of licorice candy we know and love began to emerge in Holland. And to this day, the du Dutch youth culture are known to drop a piece of licorice root into into a water bottle to sweeten the water. So there's like, um, mm, that's interesting. Yeah. So licorice is uh, like it kind of more than, more than not the confection, even though we saw historically it goes way back to a lot of other areas of the world, the confectionery version of it between the Renaissance and Holland, it like the, like if you look Gustav's up, they're a major Dutch company that does the licorice. So um, so when she was saying, oh, I dated this Dutch guy and the family would go cuckoo over these coins and I did not like them, but I think you should try them. And I was like, <laughs> okay. I was like, I'm not doing this to Simona. I'm going to go ahead and try them and tell you probably how gross they are. I ended up having to order these and I got like a million bags of these literally. <laughs> so my mom tried one not that long ago and she was like, "Ugh, this is disgusting. They look like cool black coins though. They, they almost look like Oreo cookies, like the cookie part. Yeah, there's they're like you can kind they're a little malleable, but mm -hmm. so they're um, a little squishy. And they, I mean, this smells like if you thought that what blew you away, like one of this these from what the does first, it say? It looks like it has something written like that's imprinted on it. So I don't know what kind what money is called in Holland, but it has a ten on it. Maybe it's ten euro. I don't know. Are they? Yeah, are they that looks Euros? like a euro symbol. So. Ten euro. Huh. Here she goes. She can't. Like she's trying to do her two bite usual. Looks like it's a fight. It's a fight. Who's winning? And oh. she won. Oh, did you? You want to tell us the nose though? Oh, she is looking like she is in pain. This does not look like a pleasant experience for Lauren at all. It's more the chewing. 
Oh, okay. Right. Because we know that she doesn't like to do multiple chews too much <laughs> with candy. If you have problems with your teeth or a lot of fillings, I wouldn't, I would not. You wouldn't try that. You don't try it at home or ever. I don't want to even digest this because I don't even know how long it's going to take. Oh, you're spitting it out? Yeah. Oh, wow. Listen. This is the first on our. The not reason very why long is that I'm learning a lot about digestion, you guys. The fact that I can hardly chew this means how is that going to come out of my body? Yeah, but there's a lot of acid inside of you. And for how long? Down. I don't know. I don't want to try. I don't want to risk it. I'm eating a lot of gelatin-based things today anyways. Mm -hmm. um, listen, nobody needs to eat this. I don't know why we would buy this. Is it sweet at all? Because it said it had a dash of salt. Like, give me some of okay. what you're getting. So what I was getting was wicked, like, like wicked black licorice. Um, I, I can taste the sweet in the anise flavor, which is a little different than you where you get a medicinal concept you know and and i get where you're coming from too but i think again because as a child i mentally was like this is candy i could taste i you know whatever so it does it's not the, the flavor is the flavor is rough if you don't like the anise taste yeah i don't i don't hate it i don't hate the taste um you could taste the hints of the salt in there too mm. it was mostly for me the texture of this i mean i might as well have been biting into an actual coin like it was just <laughs> a lot um and i so if this if this had you know if this was a easier bite i think i would be okay with it mm. would it be the first thing i would pick up no but like if this was tinier and it was easier to digest I wouldn't be against it. I just think at some point though, you know, guys, like dental work is expensive. I just, yeah. I don't want to risk it. I don't know why we're selling food sometimes that just will, will de destroy. Maybe they're teeth. in cahoots with the dental industry. Yeah. Like to me, this is like, I could write a bunch of jokes about with the dentist industry. Yeah. Because to, yeah, I think they have different kinds of Euro amounts on them. Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, that's fun. Two euro. Yeah, they have different. Yeah, I would think that 10 euros is outrageous for one of those <laughs> coins. I mean, I think it's cute. It's a cute idea. Um, I'm sure that there's a lot more history to this, and I'm not knocking Holland. Maybe they have stronger teeth in their jeans or something <laughs> um, over there. <laughs> but to me, it's non-GMO. Um, I just... I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, there's so many people with sensitive stomachs nowadays. Digestion is a big issue. I don't all... think it's going to be like, I don't, I think that if you ate I it grew up real... with a mom and dad, that'd be like, if you swallow your gum, it's going to take. Oh my gosh. You know, I just don't yeah, like. I mean, look, I, I don't want to ever swallow gum either because I still don't know what the truth is of whether it's Well, this to me felt like I would be, it has that <laughs> I could not even, what I spit out didn't even, like, it was hardly broken down. Like, it, wow. that's what I'm saying. First of all, I'm on a podcast. I have to talk. Th this, and if you want to try them, I'll send them to you. I have 45 bags, but, you know, it's, I don't recommend it. Yeah, all right. Well, on something that I've but never thank tried you, Otelia. before. Thank you, yes. Otelia. That was a good situation. For watching and, like, we heart you. Yes. And, we love you, and you knew I wasn't going to like these anyway. So right, no, she, no, she prepared you. Yes, um, I've never tried a good and plenty before. Um, Outrageous to me. Outrageous. I mean, I knew it was licorice, and I knew I didn't like licorice, so that's why. And I'm just going to try it for the first time on the pod because. Oh yeah. So also, oh, good and plenties yeah. always look like pills to me. Like yeah. Well, that's what your thing like kind of looked like to me too. Yeah. So uh, that's the appropriate just, size for a pill, like candy. Right, right. right. All right. I should, I'm going to put in a uh, Can you pink. do one of each color? Yeah. Sure. I'll do a white. I mean, don't they taste the same? Uh, the coating's a little different. There's no nodes to it, by the way. Like a medicine, like a pill. <laughs> it tastes exactly like that um, yellow one with the sprinkles. Yeah. Same medicinal anise flavor. Not into it, but the thing is, with the good and plenty, it doesn't last as long. 
as that English one. Yeah, because the English one is a little more authentic. Legit. Yeah. All right, exactly. I'm trying the pink. It does look like Here's you're pill popping when you. <laughs> That's the only thing that I would, this would be fun for me because I'd pretend that I'm a drug addict or something. <laughs> That's what I do in my pastime. Oh, look, mom. I'm a drug addict. Pill popping. Um, yeah. Oh, and the pink, like my hand is a little warm and the pink is already melting. Not into it. But not the worst. If I was on an island by myself, like castaway status, mm -hmm. and all I could eat were good and plenties. I would first of all get really, really, really sick of them because I don't even like them to begin with, but I would eat them. I am glad you tried them though. Yeah. I'm glad I tried. I've never tried one before ever. Or maybe I did when I was really young and I can't remember, you know, like Halloween candy. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Um, I, so far, the licorice that I like the best is obviously my fake licorice by Daryl Lee. And then I really liked the sandwichy blown up dinner mint ones from Lauren's English one. Which is, I'm surprised just because that one had black licorice in it. Yeah, but um, it, it was definitely and not It was a, coated with something else as a well. confection. Okay, you guys, we're, go we're going in. Age old debate. Dun, 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 dun. It's a red vine in the left corner and a Twizzler in the right. Ding, 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 ding. Let's get ready to rumble. Oh my God. That's very extra. Okay. So before we start these, I would say that I think I'm going to like red vines more, or really I would like to like red vines more because I feel like in every dumb, like romantic comedy, like there's always that question with like the leads of like, oh, are you red vines girl? Or like a Twizzlers girl? And then the guy's always like, um, red vines. And she's like, no, Twizzler. It's like, oh, such a stupid repartee. So I, I feel like so I'm going in. I like Twizzlers better. I know I already do, um, but I will. So I'm gonna start with red vines because this way. I well, we with, should both start with red vines. Yeah, I was gonna say so. Okay. Um, one thing I will say, red vines packaging has changed over the years. I think it's super duper cute right now. Is it cute? It looks like a mess to me. I think it's cute. Oh, you have different packaging than me. That's why. <laughs> I couldn't. This was the packaging. I had never really. I that don't, is I, cute. Mine is just plain blue. Like Lauren has a nice light blue with like different yeah, mine has, like, on it. Has like random, has San Francisco or has like a bridge on it. Peace, yeah, love, and uh, happiness. None of that on mine. Mine is just Peace, like, love, and vines. Oh, available. this is a limited pack edition. That's why. That's why. So. I don't understand how mine is supposedly resealable. But that's what it says, whereas, like, it's not. The one major difference to me with the red vines is they are rounder than a Twizzler. A Twizzler's flatter. Oh, okay. Um, Got it. Like, when you go in and you they see. They also seem slightly um, thicker than a Twizzler. Uh, I think it's because it's rounder, right? So, like, a Twizzler is flat. No, I think it, if you, I think they're actually, well, they're fluffier. Like, Twizzlers seem more compact, like, more dense from the packaging, but I haven't opened it. Like, okay. Like, Red Vine seems like it's lighter. And then if I was going to, like, talk about the cut, like, the makeup of it, a Red Vine is more of a matte finish, where Twizzlers yes. is more <laughs> gloss of, of a shiny, gloss. Exactly. Dewy. It's a, a dewy, dewy gloss. <laughs> also, the Did nose you is... ever do this, a kid? No, because I, I didn't like eat, I didn't eat licorice as a child. So no, I didn't make licorice mustaches as Lauren is doing right now. Um, what I will say though, is when you open the package, it's immediately hu like humongoid artificial flavor smelling like mm. not so much, mm. not so much licorice. Okay. Lauren. It's <laughs> balanced that for a really long time. I just want to say. Oh my God. But what would it, you say is the no like it's a cherry flavor? My nose smell. gets it's beyond cherry. My nose gets a hint of like berry. Yeah, but not straw. Well, it's, it's not, not strawberry. That it's strawberry. It's not that it's just raspberry. It's not it to me. It's a cherry berry smell. It smells like a Luden's cherry cough drop. A little bit. All right, I'm gonna go in. Right. I bend it. I'm buying it. So she but she 
bends it in half and then bites the part that's bent just so people know. And I'm just eating one end of it. Oh, it's hollow. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. I thought it was going to be solid like my Daryl Lee. That's why it's fluffier. Oh my God, this is terrible. It just tastes dry to me. It tastes like medicine. It tastes like cough syrup. This is so bad. Why would anybody eat this ever? This is so bad. Well, we know she's not a Red Vines. <laughs> oh, and I really wanted to be like a cool bitch Red Vines person. That is so bad. That I is think, so bad. I can't get over how bad that is. For me, it just always, it has a little bit of a dry taste. And I don't know what that means other than. Um, here's it does just have a, a dry taste. It has does, a dry it, taste. Like the other, even though it was fake. Not that I want what candy. Whatever, no, no, no. It's but, just, it feels like it's stale. Like it feels old and, um, it. and it, it just doesn't f- seem fresh. It doesn't seem like fresh candy. It tastes like cherry cough drops. It's super artificial medicinal. It's disgusting. And the fact that it's hollow inside, like what a waste. I'm not happy that it's hollow. Okay. Inside. And I'm going to tell you a couple of factoids. So Red Vines Ugh. has 22 cal- calories compared to Twizzlers with 40. Red Vines ingredients lack preservatives they're a little bit lesser Process. of the fake yeah mm-hmm. um so they can go stale quicker well <laughs> hello <laughs> and then twizzlers are loaded with sugar and preservatives which is probably why i like them well yeah if it's more loaded with sugar that preserves it naturally too so that's just a fact and then and then before we go into twizzlers twizzlers originated uh, back in New York, a uh, New York confectionery company called Young and Smiley um, in 1845, which was bought by Hershey's in 77. And then the American Licorice Company of Chicago premiered its black licorice finds in 1914, which is after Twizzlers. Um, and then the classic raspberry vines, red vines, original moniker, debuted six years later so i think that's why it has it does have like a i don't know that they're they're just considered their original red now but i do feel that there's a berry more of a berry smell and a bit i don't get the taste the taste is just hollow and stale but um their original red has to me is not like strawberry but it probably has a hint more of a raspberry cherry than the original Twizzler, which is strawberry. So for me, the takeaway is if you like drinking bottles of cough syrup, whatever, and you really like stale, hollow things that are the most disgusting things on the planet, then you'll enjoy a red vine. Whoa, this is like... Simona, I'm going, I'm some harsh. people are going to duke you. Like, they're going to put uh, their co- Come at me. At me on Instagram. Do it. I dare you. Also still be our friends. Yeah. <laughs> like, but like, like we, we can, look, I'm all about, we can be friends and agree to disagree. Okay? Like yeah. Simona and I do it all the time. Yeah. Although we might agree on this one. I don't know. She might hate I'm, I'm going to give the nose again. Yeah, I this, think that. Okay. This is exactly what I think remember Twizzler to smell like it sort mm-hmm. of smells like plastic but with um, a but a, an immense strawberry licorice flavor like I associate you can, this with licorice. You can scent the strawberry though like yeah it smells like a very again artificial but not medicinal artificial like the most disgusting red vines but but this is like what I thought like licorice was this yeah exactly and a li- and i will say they're pr- i'll do a hold up comparison just they are shorter oh you can really see the glossy look of a one twister. is matte one is glossy one's a little shorter i can't and even the- get one out because they're so- much stickier and then you can see too that a red vine is thicker even though it's hollow where the um twizzler is flat Yes, but and you dense. can see the flatness at the end. Like, it's not circular. It's, like, stamped flat. Like, it's, like, well, a machine a red vine cut is, it. a red vine is, too, but then when you compare the two next to each other, see how that's round and flat. All right, so we're going to go in. I'm going to invite the middle again. Okay, I'm just going to eat an end. Here's the thing about licorice. 
It doesn't taste like a lot. This is better. Mm-hmm. It tastes like what you think an eatable plastic would taste like. Yeah. It basically like it's like that texture. It's like, oh, I want to eat chewy plastic. <laughs> what can I eat? Oh, a Twizzler. That's what I'm in the mood for when I want to eat plastic. Um, it is yeah. hollow. Damn. <laughs> I'm angry about these right now. But I will say, hands down, this is much more enjoyable than the horrific thing I had just put in my mouth. I am so angry that red vines are even known for anything. How dare they exist? <laughs> wow. This is the most serious I'm re- I just became so passionate I've about ever- this. That I've ever seen for a red vines. If I ever run for office, whatever state, maybe it would be New Jersey, I would outlaw red vines. I'd be like, they are illegal. Holy crap. (laughs) Wait, but that would probably make them more desirable to people because people just like to be. Yeah, people be addicted to them. (laughs) So maybe I should say Twizzlers are outlawed. So then the Twizzlers, I don't know. Regardless. You would lose some votes. I'm just saying. This is much better. Again, to me, it's like if you want to eat um, edible plastic with slight strawberry flavor that's red, go for a Twizzler. So for me, who again, grew up eating licorice. I'm eating this whole Twizzler because I love it. Um, I just feel like the, the, if you allow yourself to enjoy the taste, the sweetness comes out. It's a lot sweeter than you think. And you're not tasting like an overwhelming no, like my tartness fake or strawberry. Is, or my fake, fake liquor is just much sweeter, and but it also has more flavor, in my opinion. This one, you don't actually get the flavor until the end. Like in mm-hmm. the beginning, when you first bite into a Twizzler, it does literally taste like edible plastic wood, you know, that's chewy. But then towards the end, you get like a very slight... Um, strawberry flavor, but I, you know, I would be open to trying other flavors or like the star, but, and again, it's not licorice though. Real. That's why I haven't tried the other things on, in a candy aisle because yesterday as I was buying these things, it was like starburst, like twisty things that are filled with like filling that are sour or whatever. And like, they're that's not, not licorice. licorice. That's not licorice. Yeah. No. So I've never really like, if I want to eat a rope candy, that's a rope candy, like a nerd's rope, a sweet tarts rope, whatever. But it's not licorice. Um, wow. I think in the candy game, it's really about red vines and Twizzlers. If you're talking about licorice, what people think licorice are in the States. And I would say like Twizzlers wins hands wow. down. Wow. So and I'm not me, even happy about it. Like, I know. You could see her face. If you're not listening, her face is not, not impressed. Um, again, I have less of a volatile relationship with licorice, <laughs> period, which is shocking because normally it's like I would have expected something to go the other way, but I did grow up within the house. I did grow up with a little more of like a classic licorice taste. Like the first licorices that we did try. So if I had a licorice preference, it would be more that. Um, however, in the battle of vines and twizzlers, a red vines and twizzlers, I grew up in a twist house. I prefer twizzlers. Red vines, I think I've eaten like three times in my whole life, and it's only because like that was the option. Um I just bought these today, so I don't think there's any way that these are stale. And that stale, like, idea, that dry, stale idea is very much what I feel about a red vine. Yeah. I mean, and I bought mine yesterday, so. Yeah. So, I mean, I I confess to being Twizzlers up front. That doesn't mean I don't love the red vines, people. I don't have a bad opinion of you of a person. Well, I mean, I don't, I'm not saying that the people are terrible. I'm just saying the product is terrible. And red vines, if you want to send us other things, I'm not going to say I won't try them. Oh, I'll try them, but you're going to get my opinion. Right. But I mean, my favorite is more Twizzlers over red vines. But if I had to pick a candy, like going, we already know this. If I'm going to the movies, I'm getting the weird snow caps. I'm not even getting (laughs) Twizzlers or red vines. I'm getting milk duds. 
or the crunch, the bunch of crunch in the box. Like those are my two. And I have to get popcorn, but we're not talking about that right now. We both have to get popcorn, but I'm just saying like, so we know that neither one of us are going to pick this anyway. Yeah. But I think it was a great episode and it was very brave. Very brave of you, Simona, <laughs> to take Thank this plunge. You. This was, this I was do a, it. I do it for the pod. She does it for the gram. Um, <laughs> and we would love to hear your opinions. Try to sway Simona. Explain something. Explain to her why she should like a red vine. Do you change something up? Do you use it as a straw? Do you yeah. sprinkle sugar on it? I don't know what you do. Do you, do you bake, bake it, it in, in a, cake? a cake? Exactly. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Um, you know, do you do something different with it? Maybe we can try that and we can get on the red vines train. Maybe. But this was a... The very fun episode. <laughs> I feel like we dealt with politics of food for past years. We talked about, I mean, if you do have an upset stomach or, you know, and you don't want to take meds, you know, throw a red, uh, I mean, a, a black licorice in your, in your tea or in your we stomach. We are not physicians though. So no, you know. but I mean, I'm just saying like sometimes something, I mean, for instance, when I feel congested, I will eat something spicy. Sometimes that helps you, you know, clear you sure, out. Sure, sure. You know, I so mean, let us know though if you have in the past to use licorice as like a, a stomach settler, right? Like maybe you have, so you can let us know. Just don't use those coins, although I still love you, Otelia. <laughs> maybe those are maybe because those are so dense and crazy. Like maybe those are the best things that you. And can maybe eat those are some of the things that, those, that the Dutch people put in their water. I don't know to make that, it sweeter, right? That I would I could see that, but um, teu bisque, Otelia. My Romanian, Toronto, Canadian from Toronto. Um, we love you all. We thank you all. And we hope you all keep, keep 